All right, guys, so Crunchyroll CEO made some bold claims. And to be honest with you, I think that this is something that most anime watchers would agree with to an extent. But I think that because anime has become so big and so widely known that to be honest i don't think this is gonna land well and it's gonna make a lot of people upset now a buddy of mine anime relatable he actually made a video on this so i want to share some of this video with you and give you some of my commentary on this especially when it comes to the way that anime has evolved and to be honest i feel like anime has gone the way of the pizza and I'm going to share with you what that means in a second. So let's take a look. About Crunchyroll's recent stance on the idea of keeping anime inherently Japanese. At Anime Expo, Rahul Perini, the CEO of Crunchyroll, made some pretty bold statements. He said that anime should remain inherently Japanese, meaning it should be created primarily by Japanese creators and retain its cultural roots. While this sounds like a call to keep or preserve the authenticity of anime, it's also raising some concerns. Over the past few years, we've seen a surge in anime adaptations from non-Japanese content like Solo Leveling and Tower of God. These series have been really, really successful and probably in a way carrying Crunchyroll. But I will say that there have been quite a few animes like solo leveling is one he mentions that that here um i think whack fu is another one let me make sure i think it might be from like france let's see origin yeah there you go it is based off of france Yes, yeah, so, and I mean, don't forget, uh, I'm going to get in trouble for this, but Avatar the Airbender, like, I consider that an anime. I know that a lot of people don't, but come on, it really is. It's a U.S.-based anime, like, get over it. Wanting to preserve the purity of anime or whatever that means as a Japanese art form, this is a problem, though, that I continue to have with the anime medium and sometimes its fans because what exactly are we trying to say if you desire to impact the world globally with a medium that beforehand was very, very niche until recently, especially here in the West, you don't do that with comments like this, like this legit is excluding talented creators from outside of Japan who have something unique to contribute to the art form of anime. And after all, if anime is a global phenomenon, shouldn't its creation reflect the, that global nature? In their interview, he also says that he believes that anime must be inherently Japanese and told from the perspective of Japanese creators. We want more anime and more diverse stories, and it's important that Japanese creators continue to be involved in them. But there's only one problem with that. Anime has a bunch of other cultural influences that they take from other cultures, like African-American culture and European culture, just to name a few. What Crunchyroll is displaying right now is something I think we all know is a cultural appropriation because what you're really saying is that we want what you have with your culture and your style and your lingo and we want to incorporate that, but we don't necessarily want you. And that's kind of weird. Damn, bro. Like that is that's such a good point. And it goes on to to what I was talking about. Like there are already many different influences within anime that we are seeing that is being created. So for for you to then say we want to borrow all of these things from you, but at the same time, we don't want you to have a say in it. It's very odd. I think that there's an interview with Denzel that he uh, he he is being asked. Uh, I think that uh, I'm forgetting the name of the movie. I'll try to link it below or I'll put a picture of it. And he makes a great point that it's it's a cultural thing, not a skin thing. Meaning, and then he goes on to explain. Could a white director not have? It's not color. It's culture. 
explain the difference because I think we're, we're Steven in a space Spielberg right now. did Schindler's List. Mm -hmm. Martin Scorsese did Goodfellas, right? Steven Spielberg could direct Goodfellas. Martin Scorsese probably could have done a good job with Schindler's List, but there are cultural differences. You know, I know, you know, we all know what it is when a hot comb hits your hair on a Sunday morning, mm -hmm. what it smells like. Huh? That's a cultural difference, not just a color difference. Right. So it's the culture. You know about a hot comb? <laughs> so now no, I know. she don't know about no hot comb. You don't know nothing huh? about uh huh. Huh, Jack? Right. Right. See, see how everybody laughs? That's a cultural difference. Yeah. That's not a race difference. That's just that motion. <laughs> that's all I gotta say, right? If we want to keep anime inherently Japanese, that's fine. I think Japanese, uh, Japan and Japanese culture has something beautiful to offer, but just don't get inspiration from the outside world because without it, you don't get shows like Afro Samurai and Benlin Saga. You don't get Attack on Titan. You don't get soul leveling, which has been crushing on Crunchyroll. And most importantly, it's not inherently Japanese that the story and the things aren't inspired solely by Japanese things. And there are tons. Even One Piece, one of the most well-known animes out there borrows from the entire world even the crew themselves are biracial if you will um so what i was saying about the the way of the pizza if you think about it okay pizza comes from italy we all know this right and you got the neapolitan pizza which is like considered the classic pizza but at this point um Pizza has had such an effect on the world that there are different regions that have their own types of pizza, right? You got your Chicago deep dish pizza. You got your New York pizza that's very unique. And you have, you know, classic Italian pizza amongst many, many others. And that doesn't take away from the fact that pizza originated in Italy, right? In fact, I think that it is well recognized that it comes from Italy, but at the same time, people have taken this great creation and they have now created something different, unique, that represents the area that they're from. And I think that ultimately, this is what we are going to be seeing from anime. I think that the, I think that we're going to moving forward like in 10 20 years like anime originated in japan right and i think that there's going to be great reverence for that but it's going to be mass adopted and there's going to be many regions that are going to be creating anime right and i do think that the one thing that japan will have to focus on is their unique style you know how like the neapolitan pizza like you know it's a neapolitan pizza because of how airy the crust is right there's there's specific characteristics that tell you okay this is an italian pizza or this is a new york pizza i think that over time that what we're going to see is that we're going to see that japan is going to have its own unique style that that comes from that region of the world same thing with uh, France, same things with the US and any other region of the world that decides to create anime. So I think that this is a very important topic. I think that um, it's amazing to see the anime has gone as far as it has and it's going to continue to grow. And I think that comments like these, like Anime Relatable was saying here, I think it holds the progress of anime and it holds uh, us from getting more unique stories and animation so let me know what you think in the comments is this something that you have ever thought about do you agree with what the uh, ceo of crunchyroll um, has stated or do you have a different opinion let me know in the comments and as always i just want to remind you that we must persevere peace